Wix rental website tutorial. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video I'm going to show you how you can create a Wix rental website for your niece or for your agency, a car rental, a, a home rental a, or whatever from Wix and for free. So it is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is you head over wix.com sign up for an account within this platform if you do not have uh, one already if you have an account already you are going simply to visit the sites dashboard so you are going to see on the first glance if you have already um, created an account the first page that will allow you to create your own or your first own website so it is going to be like that. You're going to get the choice to either try the Wix Studio or go with the Wix Standard Editor. I'm going to click on create on Wix Editor. Here you are going to get the Wix choice of uh, creating the text and also it will help you to uh, get an idea on, a, on the website that you want to create in case you do not have something in mind. So you can go ahead and start chatting and it will uh, here propose for you some questions you're going to get some answers from you and then it will know basically what are or what is going to be the uh, content and also the elements that will consist into your website if you do not want to get the help of the ai you can go ahead and click on setup without chat now we're going to set up the type of the website that we want to create here basically we're going to type in only one keyword and we are going to get the rest written. So we are going to type in rental. And from here we are going to see the keywords that are available. As you can see we have a rental shop, vacation rental, RV, a rental agency, a real estate rental agency and everything about rental. So you are going simply right there to select the type of the rental that you want because there is multiple for example if you are going to create a car rental website it is not going to be the same as a apartment rental or real estate rental so we are going to set up uh, for example a rental shop and from here we're going to click on continue so it will be preparing the dashboard from here the dashboard is going to be here universal for all of the wix websites so it is going to be here the uh, base uh, or the control panel or control center of your website now we are going to set up the name of our store for example jacks uh, here store like that store rental like that I'm going to click on continue the second step is to make the online presence yes I am already uh, selling do you want to move an existing Wix store not sure yet here we have uh, the uh, what kind of products are you selling so we are going to set up the physical products digital products maybe uh, drop shipping services so we are going to click on continue sales channels we are going to set up here online of course store in person and maybe marketplaces I'm going to click on continue continue to the dashboard finally and boom here it is reprogramming the dashboard to add up the uh, stores and etc so this is the control panel i have said that before you can go ahead and control all the website right there from this specific area now let's go ahead and design or start designing the website so we are going to click on design site and it will open up the website designer right there i am going to see here two options Either you are going to generate a design with the help of the AI, or you can go ahead and customize a template. So I'm going to start by picking up a template and see what is recommended, what are not, and then we are going to generate one with the AI. So here we have the RV rentals company, party rentals, uh, party rentals company, also event planning. Here we have some a few rentals as you can see, but all the websites could be here set up. And also you can go ahead and customize them as much as you want. So we have two pages, uh, only one page, but one is going to be here additive. So this is the recommended. 
So this is the research of the rental shop. I'm going to type in rental only and see the result right there. So basically, like that is going not to give me much of help. So right there, you can go ahead and see the type of the uh, templates that we have here. You can ignore the recommended ones and see for yourself what is going to be here suited for you or what not. But here in my case, I will go ahead right there and go back to the page that we've had before of the design. And I'm going to choose here at the generated design with AI. So we are going to get the help of the AI to generate a more customized website. So basically we are going to wait for here. It will uh, launch the chat box right there. So we are generating Jack for rentals. It will be generating the website directly from the um, instructions that you have gave or the information you've gave the, uh, on the beginning. Here we are going to wait some few seconds. It will create here the brief. Here we have the site brief. That means that the website is ready. You're going to see here based on your site profile, Jack for rental, your a rental store will have a site structure includes one page it's uh, or its content will be generated based on your site description i think that we've missed the part that we've had at the site description but it is okay here the image is not uh what i have in mind so we have some documents or some archives some boxes it does mean that it is a commercial store or a commercial website but it doesn't give the impression that it is going to be here for rental so it doesn't matter here you're going to set up or see the products that we have here the product section the service section and here we have the footer so you can go ahead and tweak the design or regenerate the design for example we're going to tweak it right there we are going to get the tweak so it is up to the AI to set up the tweak and also the regeneration of that. Uh, here we have the uh, description, etc. It has, I think, uh, tweaked the website by removing the images uh, or the text on the image. They've made all the, uh, the shadow disappear right there on the image. So it is more clear. And they took the text at the top. So you can go ahead and click on continue with this design, set it as you want from here or continue to the editor. For the website domain, you can go ahead and, and buy a domain from Wix and you can get uh, here a discount on the premium plans that they have. They are very fascinating if you are going to look for a, uh, let's say here, a permanent domain also uh, feature or premium features. So it is going to be here adding the necessary um, stores or compartment for your website right there. You are going to see here the Wix website editor open up. You're going to get the design page or the shop page and etc. So as you can see, we have a fully uh, loaded our website. We're going to get here the uh, ability to add some elements to add some sections, modify the pages. I'm going to see here how many pages that we have. We have the home page, the book online for services and also appointments, and finally the shop page. I'm going to take a look for the shop page. I think it is going to be a standard page here, and it is. Okay, we have the product page, the store page. I'm going to click again and see that we have uh, the site or the site menu. We're going to click on the book online and see what do we have here. We have the services. So you can modify these services on the dashboard of yours or selecting where they are one of the cases. Click on manage service. It will open up here the generic dashboard that you are going to add, modify or put up here a service. So here we have the services. You can go ahead and add some services or create from scratch. Now back here to the site design, you can go ahead and set up the site theme, change the theme, uh, put up here some theme colors. If you don't like these for this blue, uh, also the page background, you can go ahead and modify the page background to something else, a video, a image only or something. 
And also for the apps, you can go ahead and install a V an app or a, a needed app from the Wix app market that will help you right there integrate something else uh, into your website. Now for the product, I'm going to visit here the store again to let you see how we can modify, add, or set up the products. We're going to head over to the shop page or there, or you are going to see the dashboard of yours. Click on the pages or the catalog, click on manage product. I will let you see here how we can find those. So this is the dashboard of the website. You're going to see here at the left side of the screen. We have the setup, the home, the control panel in general. You're going to select here catalog and the catalog will contain the store products, the products, uh, the inventory, the categories, and etc. So here we have the example pages or the example products that we have. You can go ahead and add a new product, for example, by this, choose the type of product. If it is going to be here physical or digital, then you are going to set up this one. So basically in the rental website, you're going to add a physical product, add the images of that physical product, put the name of that description of it. For example, I don't know if you're going to um, rent a PlayStation, a car or whatever, and then you are going to set up here the price. So do not forget to mention that in the description that it is going to be rental and the durability or the delay or the duration of the rentability right there uh, or the rental of that is going to be, for example, a week or for example, a day or for example, $120 a day uh, for that specific, I don't know, uh, product or item per day like that and etc. So when you finish that, you're going to get here paid for, let's say, uh, right there, the quantity. So you can go ahead and add the quantity right there, and it is going to be sent in case of invoices or something like that. So that is all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content, and I'll see you soon on the next one.